Today I have a rather interesting piano, and you might notice that it looks absolutely tiny, and that's because it is really tiny. I mean, as you can see, look, it, it only comes up to like my stomach. It's a really tiny piano, even though it's shaped like a really big upright grand piano, it's only very small. And there's a few, there's been a few different iterations of these size pianos around. I've seen them painted red and called clown pianos before because they put them on a little bicycle trailer and tow them around while someone played on them. Uh, I believe Kawaii used to make pianos like this that I think were marketed towards young children, and they were a, fu a full piano, but scaled down so they'd be a lot easier for kids to play. This piano here on the little tag there, it's called an apartment piano, and this particular one on the fallboard says ASC, and it was made by the Meyer Brothers. And I'd assume it's called an apartment piano because it's a very small piano that it would be easy to take up a flight of stairs and stick in your apartment. It's not going to be very loud, it wouldn't disturb your neighbors. It's actually a really great idea. Of course today we have a keyboard for that that is completely silent, but before the advent of keyboards you would have an apartment piano. And I think it's kind of a cool idea. Um, you might be familiar with the little Schoenhut pianos that you might see at Guitar Center, and those aren't real pianos, even though they are geared for children. This is a full-scale piano. It's got, it's not full-scale, but it's a full-blown piano. You've got strings, you've got all the normal stuff inside of it. And so we're going to take off these panels here and uh, show you all that. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that, first of all, it's so tiny my knees barely fit under it, but also it weighs so little that I can, I can tilt it up with just my knees alone. So obviously taking it up a flight of stairs would it could almost be a one-person job, but it could definitely simply be a two-person job, pick it up and huck it up the flight of stairs. So that's also why it would be called an apartment piano. So let's take, let's take off this front panel and open up the lid a little bit and, uh, and show you the inside. Also, what's really cute is it has a lid prop, just like that. So let's check out the inside. So now that we have it open, let's take a look at the inside, and as you can see, it is a fully-fledged piano. While it is only five octaves, it has all of the features that a traditional upright piano would have. We have your hammers, we have your dampers as well, and with the damper pedal, uh, they're coming up off the strings as they normally would. And what's even cute is it even has a left pedal that pushes the uh, hammers closer to the strings in order to help make the sound a little bit quieter. get less uh, inertia and they hit the strings at a slightly slower speed and it's a little bit quieter. And of course, as you can see down here, we have your standard upright piano action, although it's probably a little bit smaller than uh, it usually would be. So I'm going to play a little bit on this piano and um, it's rather old and so the action is not in perfect condition, but it is playable. And so I will play just a little bit to give you a demonstration of the ASC Meyer Brothers uh, apartment piano. As you can hear, it also needs a bit of a tune, but that's okay, I'm not going to hold that against the piano. I think if you went through and you tuned this piano and maybe did a bit of action work, it would be a really fun piece to have in your house to just be like, look at this unusual piano, because I love unusual instruments like that that are, you know, bigger than normal or smaller than normal or just unusual in some strange way, so I think it's kind of interesting. Hopefully you found this video interesting as well. I have lots of videos on my channel about pianos, all of them are of, of normal sized pianos, and, uh, but if you want to go check that out, you can, and if you want to subscribe, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.